Hey everybody, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you guys tuning in and I uh, hope you guys are having a good weekend. And I uh, hope you're having good luck with all your gardening and all your projects. Today I've got a final update on my solar powered aquaponics system. Um, everything that I wanted to do as far as functionality has been completed. I can now walk away from it and not have to do anything. Um, but yeah, let's get to it over here, guys. So thanks. Hope you guys are having a good day today. I am having a great morning. I had to turn down the video quality a little bit so that uh, it didn't take so long for me to upload videos because uh, for some reason it just takes forever when I'm uploading ultra high definition 4K. So I dropped it down to regular 1080 with uh, 60 frames per second. So we got our uh, top off tank installed. Got my flow valve inside. Like my nice clean hole. <laughs> I did that with a pair of tin snips because it was difficult to uh, to cut a hole right there. I had to take the panel off, and then uh, I didn't have a, a drill that could fit right in there. So, yeah, no, no one will ever see that except for you guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's check out the fish, and we'll uh, check out some of the radishes and the basil growing in the top. So. There's a victim over here, we're not going to show that. Uh, tilapia are mostly vegetarian, but they do eat fish. And I don't mean like whole either, so... If you have some tilapia and you throw some goldfish in there, don't be surprised if you find half of one floating around at the top somewhere. Where are the tilapia? They're all hiding. Oh, they're holding perfectly still. There's four of them in here now. They've been doing fine. This thing shuts off as soon as the sun uh, stops shining on the panel, obviously. And they do fine all night. I haven't had any dead. I come out here and check on them, and they're not floating at the top, gasping for air. There's a, my top-off float valve right there. So if the water gets lower than that, it'll keep it at a certain temp, certain uh, uh, height or depth. Got my goldfish hiding right there. There's a tilap big tilapia hiding right underneath them. They don't even know it. And there's some down at the bottom cleaning. I had a lot of algae growing in here, so I need to get me a, a placostomus. And then one placostomus is all I need to clean this whole thing. It will. They're really good at cleaning algae because that's basically all they eat is algae. So if you have a fish tank and you have an algae problem, throw a placostomus in there and you know let them do his thing. That's about all they eat. So. And we got this cover on here. It's the the monsoon season's pretty much done with, so the temperature skyrocketed. So we're back up in the hundreds again. Oh, there's all my radishes. They're doing really good. Got some basil in here as well. Basil is for the tilapia. Uh, tilapia also like lettuce too. They love basil and they love lettuce. I uh, threw a whole bunch of seedlings into the, the big tank over there where there's like uh, 30 or 40 tilapia and they ate all of it. But everything's looking good. And in fact the sun just now started touching the panel and I can hear the water gurgling over here. So there we go. Got really good water flow and the panel is only getting half sunlight right now. I don't know how that thing works so well. They they usually don't do very good. Even when like part of the panel is covered up, they usually just stop working. Or if there's overcast, but I don't know, somehow mine work when it's overcast. We've had stormy days and this thing is still running with zero direct sunlight. So I'm very happy with it. Um, it couldn't have turned out any better. Um, but over the long term, we'll see what really happens. This, I mean, honestly, it's only been... Uh, maybe a month i guess since i started this so uh you know who knows what will happen until you know in the next couple of months and then uh, when the water what weather cools down if i could speak yeah i guess my the speech part of my brain isn't quite awake yet <laughs> so wake up all right so let's go and check out something else this is something that's kind of bad to happen but you know stuff happens and we find solutions over here and that's what i love to do so I've been noticing a lot of water there's not any right now because I have this these are turned off 
but I was getting a lot of water down here and down here and what I found out was that the main drain that I have I don't know how but there's a tree um, probably 20 feet over there and somehow a root has gone in here gone into the drain clogged the drain and then, uh, worked its way down into the sump tank a root now I pulled the root out but it's still clogged in here that's why I have these hoses here I was trying to uh, do flood and drain with the you know the hoses on top here but it wasn't working out so well so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to dig this up pardon me I ate breakfast too fast so I'm gonna have to dig this up take the uh, I think it's three inch pipe here and then the rest of its four inch back and then I just uh, I was just using what I had so I'm gonna try to dig that out find the hole where the root came in cut that section out glue a new piece in and then uh, put it all back together and we'll check out some I got some eggplant over here we got some flowers or one flower yeah just one and we got a bunch of other things that didn't make it the seedlings that I put out there's a little a little bit too early some of them started uh, going and the rest of them died off which is uh, just fine because I have plenty more seeds and we can just keep going and I gotta clean out all that corn over there it's all pretty much toast The wind pretty much destroyed it. So, uh, one of my subscribers uh, from over there at Old Camp, he had mentioned in another video that uh, he has best, he has good luck when you plant 10 foot by 10 foot areas. That way, the corn can support itself, which to me make, makes perfect sense. And especially after looking at this, uh, I'm kind of curious. Let me pull one of these off and see what it even looks like on the inside. It's like nothing there. So I'm gonna peel it open over here off camera. <laughs> Let's see what see what it looks like on the inside. There's corn in there, but it's not very developed. So maybe I'll leave some of these alone for a while longer and see what happens. It can't hurt. The kernels are not quite formed in here all the way. So we'll compost that. And then something interesting I found over here, you, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen a photo. I haven't actually updated photos in a while, but my compost bin here is full of cantaloupes. And so is my other compost bin. There must have been a bunch of seeds in there that sprouted. So, we're gonna have some more cantaloupe. Looks like one of them made it down here. Oh no, that's not cantaloupe. That's a weed. So we'll leave these alone and see what happens. There's a lot of white flies in here. I'll get them tonight with some neem oil sprayed in there. Um, but I guess that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, post those down at the bottom. Um, Hit that like button, uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and if you click the bell button next to subscribe, you'll get a notification each time I upload another video. If you're interested in following along with some of my projects and watching me screw something up or find a solution for something, because that's what we like to do over here. Stay positive, keep building, and always look forward. What's in the past is in the past. So keep building, you guys.